Um, we're gonna do the classic, classic stuff. Classic Romsky stuff. We're heading to a McDonald's. It's a little different this time. Instead of uh, walking in like we usually do, we're gonna go to the drive-thru right now. Social life is non-existent and I don't really intend on expanding it either. Like, what's the point? Hello, please move forward to the next speaker. Thanks. Okay. Hi, can I get a um, Greek salad with grilled chicken? Sorry, you said salad? Yes, a Greek salad with grilled you chicken. Don't salads yet. You don't have salads yet? Yeah. Can I get a Big Mac? Um, that's not large. Large starts at 20 minutes. Sorry, it's what did you say? It's still a breakfast menu. Oh, so it's only breakfast? Okay, can I get a sausage and egg McMuffin? Just love how it changes. We go from salad to Big Mac to breakfast meal. It's fine. I'm over it. Thank you. It's okay. Sausage and egg McMuffin is pretty dope though. So if you read the title of this video, it is time for me to get new skates. And so I'm gonna run you guys through what that's like. All right. So, you always get it mounted by the same guy. So, uh, I need to go call him right now. Oh, thanks for calling Jason's Shop. Most of these Yeah, he doesn't open till 12, so... I actually might need to go in there and like meet some people. Let's try this one more time. Let's hit him up again. Hello, Jake Skate Shop. Hi, Jake. This is Roman. Can I come by in like 10 minutes to uh, mount my boots? Sure. Yep. Cool. See ya. Thanks. Bye. Bye. He's there. We're ready to go. Let's roll. Okay, so we're here. Now I just gotta figure out how to carry all my stuff there. Come back to the rink. What the? Yeah, so that's gonna that's gonna need some adjusting, and that's gonna give me another copyright infringement. I'm gonna run you through how the process sort of works, or at least how I go through the process. I don't think I'm, everyone's a little different. Right now, I have four screws in them which is not nearly enough if you were to like train day to day. So I've got two in the front, two in the back on both blades. Each of these holes are circular. These, these ones, they're actually slits. So you can actually slide the blade side to side. If it goes too far in, you tend to start rolling out. If it goes too far out, it starts rolling in. It's pretty like intuitive stuff. It's just because every boot is a little different, no matter what, you're gonna have to adjust the blade accordingly. And then you can like stare at it all day, but until you try it, you don't know for sure. Okay, so that's that one. I think this one's also gonna need it a little bit. Not as severe, because this one felt pretty straight. I'm just gonna move it out slightly, like slightly. And these adjustments are really small. We're talking like one millimeter in one direction. You'll feel a huge difference. Okay. Now I'm going to put them on again and then give them another go. I'm going to repeat this process over and over until it feels normal. You can also tell by like just walking around, you can already feel. I feel my left foot's good now. Now I feel like the right one. The right foot now is going a little too far in. I'm going to go on the ice to be sure because I'm not 
yeah, let's go on the ice, figure it out. Let's do this. The alignment is better now, but uh, we still need to give it a little bit more. No, I overdid it. So we have to bring it back, bring both blades back in slightly. But then once you get it right, once you get it done, put the screws in, usually you're okay. Sometimes as the boot breaks in, I have to shift the blade again, maybe once. That's literally happened to me once ever. That as the boot was breaking in, I felt, okay, now it's rolling out a lot more. I have to move the blade back. So I think that's done with the, the left foot's done. That axle edge, now I'm gonna start feeling it like it's normal again. You skate so much and you use your skates every day to the point where your skates are not just skates. They're literally an extension of your body. So I would say it takes me about a week to get that feeling back where it's like part of me. You can still do most of the stuff on day one. Like once they're mounted, you got all the screws in. I can, I can do most of my jumps on day one. I wouldn't say I'm comfortable, but you can do them. And then about after a week, they start feeling like your skates again. Because right now I feel like I'm sitting in someone else's skates. I'm gonna go back on, try some axles, see if that left foot is finalized, and then I'm gonna do more adjustments on the right foot. All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. That was the foot. Left foot is starting to feel normal. That only took me quite a few tries to get that double axle and triple sow going, but it's feeling good. I'm convinced left foot's done. Now I gotta focus on the right foot. I think I overcorrected. Like I said before, it's a little bit overcorrected. The problem is if you don't get your uh, blades lined up properly, in my opinion, I know this is not really clinically proven by any means, but if you don't get those blades aligned properly, you'll actually break down your boots faster. Because the way you're bending and landing, it'll keep warping in one direction if you're not completely on top. And whatever is on top really depends per person. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back in very slightly. I think we should be good now. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling real good about it. Let's go. Doesn't matter. Got it half done. Minus three GUE. It's fine. The blades feel good. We fixed the left one. Axles and sows. Blade feels underneath. We fixed the right one. Loop feels underneath. Landings feel underneath. Sharpen the blades. Because I've been walking around a lot. That's it. That's pretty much the process of my new boots. Hope you guys found this at least like 20% interesting and I will catch you in the next video. Well, there's something about a new boot smell that's like, literally, it's like, it's like a new car smell. That's gonna last for a solid two weeks and then it's just like a vertical downhill from there.